87 Vanagon customer complains about um, sometimes no power stepping on the gas and it just doesn't go anywhere. Check fuel sample, fuel sample is not too bad. O2 sensor cycles pretty good. Fairly nice sweep. Fairly nice sweep. And that's the closed throttle switch cutting fuel. So that the closed throttle switch is usually one of the first complaints or issues to look at. Fuel pressure is good. This rises on snap. Um, but a good thing to do is hold the idle up, get the O2 to cycle, and then just do a wiggle test. We're cycling nicely right now. Here's the pool and temperature sensor. I'm going to wiggle a wire. Nope, can you hear it? It's more pronounced at idle, I guess. But uh, let me just do that again. So that's fuel shut off. It's going to catch itself. O2 is going to rise again. And then it falls. So watch what happens when I wiggle the uh, temperature, coolant temperature sensor wire. There it goes. And it sticks, sticks rich momentarily. And there it goes again. The engine's flaring RPM wise. There it's stuck rich. So there's a bad connection somewhere along here. And that's causing it to. Um, Blood, basically, you see it's stuck at nine volts, uh, 900 millivolts, and I can smell the richness. So, um, there's a problem in the wiring or in the connector. There's electric tape here, so somebody was in here before. Whether or not it's related to up here, I don't know yet. The pins themselves might look a little corroded. There's a what looks like a hot spot here. hoping to see some uh, wiring that was discolored or thicker so that's not very conclusive right there okay I, there might be a little bit of green corrosion on here uh, I think what I'm gonna do is cut the wiring here and then sp splice in a new connector first I'm gonna have a look at the pins on the sensor The pins look like they're corroded, rusty. So I'm going to replace the connector. We'll put a new temp sensor in as well, and that should solve it, solve things. Okay, so um, it's fairly straightforward. You can pull the sensor without um, losing too much coolant. Make sure that there's no pressure in the system. Uh, vent the pressure first put the cap back on and then you pull the sensor out uh, and have the other one ready to go so you pull one out make sure the o-ring comes with it if, the, if only the sensor comes out then use your finger to get the o-ring out here's the old one I'll take a closer picture of it so you can see the corrosion that's the new harness I spliced in and you can see I can wiggle this and there's no more cutting out now O2 is still warming up right now that's why it's looking a little uh, hashy right now. The 
warmer the O2 gets, the cleaner the signal is going to be. But you can see it's cycling already at idle. Um, it's going to catch itself again. There it goes. So rich and lean, rich and lean. And like I said, wiggling this temperature sensor wire now does not affect the um, signal. I'm going to take it for a test drive and uh, that's pretty much it. So do the wiggle test. Anything that's exposed you can wiggle to see if it causes anything. If you touch spark plug wires and you get zapped, it's time for new spark plug wires. Coil wire, number three, number four, number one, number two. If you get zapped, time for new wires. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, there's definitely corrosion on the pins as well as one of the connectors here you can see the bottom one is more green than the top intermittent uh, power lag I guess because it goes rich so it's bogging out uh, loss of power sorry step on it nothing happens it's because it's just choking on itself too much fuel